Hi, I'm Ashton, and my hair is a mess, but today I just wanted to do a little, like, lighthearted catch-up chat because I feel like a lot of my videos recently have either been very, like, structured or, you know, to a point, like, I haven't had a chance to really just, like, sit down and update you on my life, really. So that's what I'm doing today because I know a lot of you are just here for, like, my top surgery or testosterone or information on whatever, but, um, some of you care about my existence, so hey, this is for those people. If you're not one of those people, you probably didn't even click on this video. So if you're watching this the day that it goes up or the day after it goes up, I'm actually at college orientation right now, which is exciting, um, and that's the first thing that I wanted to talk about. So I've talked a little bit about that I'm going to college in the past, obviously, but I graduated a couple weeks ago now, and um, I just haven't really told you guys a lot about that, but I did graduate. That was cool. Um, I have my high school diploma, I have officially done a graduation, and then I also actually want to tell you guys where I'm going for college, because I've kind of avoided that in the past, and I've been thinking about it a little bit, and I didn't tell you in the past because I want it to be on my own time, but I also realized that the closer that I get to going to college, the harder it's going to be to kind of hide that, and I don't want to have to put effort into hiding a part of my life just because I don't want it on the internet, and there's no real reason that I don't particularly want it on the internet. And I feel like it would be a lot easier for me to say where I'm going, as opposed to like, imply it, or like, half say where I'm going, and then like, have, you know, the logo for that college like, somewhere in the background that I forget to cover up, and then like, you guys find out through something that I like, forgot. Does that make sense? I just don't want it to have to be something that I put effort into hiding. Um, so I'm going to UNC Chapel Hill, and I'm really excited. I have my room assignment, I'm going to orientation, like I'm leaving tonight, but when you see this I'll be there. Um, so it's a two-day orientation for honors kids because I'm in the Honors Carolina program. Um, they sent me hot sauce, which is weird. I move in in early mid-August, um, so I'm really excited about that too. I'm just really excited in general, so you know, when you see the setting behind me change, um, it's because I'm at school, like, at school, studying, living my best life, I hope. I'm probably not gonna do a lot of, like, content related to it, so it's not going to change what my channel's like very much, but it is something that impacts, like, you know, how often I might be able to get videos out, because over the summer I'm probably going to consistently have three a week, but once I start college I'm definitely gonna have a lot less free time. Um, I'll try to, like, pre-film and get some videos scheduled, but I can't guarantee that I'll be able to, you know, continue making a shit ton of videos. So, three videos per week over the summer, no guarantee of that once I actually start. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that because I wanted where I'm going to college to come out on my own time, as opposed to like one of you figuring it out, or somebody that knows me in real life talking about it, or like, I don't know. I think you guys get what I mean. You guys generally are pretty understanding of stuff like that. So, if any of you go to Chapel Hill, DM me and we can hang out. That'd be fun. I would love that. I know that's like a tiny chance, but like, you never know. Okay, so that's the college thing covered. I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, I also wanted to touch on future videos that I want to do, um, just because my content might change a little bit over the summer. Not in like a huge way, but like in the style, I guess. So I am a big fan of video essays. I watch a lot of leftist content and a lot of that is in the form of video essays. Um, and I am working on my own first video essay ever right now, which is cool. Um, it is about the word queer and the history of it, the reclamation of it, and the politics behind it. So I'm really excited about that. I'm working on the script right now, so it's still in like the early phases of production. It's not going to be nearly as high quality as like ContraPoints or Philosophy Tube or H Bomber Guy or, or any of those leftist like video essayists, but it is going to be like a video essay with a proper script and different like chapter type things, and I'm really excited about it. And I like where the script is going so far, and yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that that's coming up, hopefully within the next month or so. Again, it's not going to be as, like, high-quality content as a lot of video essayists, but I'm gonna do my best, and I am really enjoying creating it so far. So, that is gonna happen. I also definitely have ideas for video essays that I could do in the future beyond the queer one, um, so if you guys like that one, then 
there will be more to come. I also know it's like such a cliche thing for YouTubers to complain about, but dude, the algorithm. Okay, so a lot of my videos have been getting demonetized recently, and then they're remonetized once YouTube, like, manually goes through them, which means that when you guys see a video of mine come out, like, especially if it's top surgery related or mental health related, um, the first, like, thousand people that watch it aren't getting ads, which sucks for me, obviously, for you guys it's fine. Because a couple of the times when my videos have been demonetized, I've gotten messages like, hey, there weren't ads on this video. It's like, I know, YouTube is really shit. Um, I'm honestly not even annoyed about like not making money off of it because I don't make a lot of money anyways by any means. I'm mostly annoyed at just the level of communication between YouTube and its creators. Like, and I know I'm not the only one that struggles with this, but whenever they demonetize content, they don't tell you why, which I feel like some of you guys don't know, but they don't like inform you about anything. They're just like, this video you can't put ads on. So YouTube will demonetize a video and you'll get like the little yellow um, dollar sign thingy that I'm sure you've seen somewhere. Um, and it doesn't tell you why, so then you have to like request them to review it. And the annoying part is when I upload a video, it's usually like sitting on my YouTube account on private for a day or two before I like publish it because I always publish videos at the same time. And a lot of the times it'll be green, it'll be totally fine until the second when it's published and then it turns yellow. And it's like, I don't get it. So yeah, the level of communication isn't great. I wish that they would at least tell you like what guideline your video broke or like why it's not suitable for advertisers because quite honestly like me talking about dissociation the video i did maybe a month ago now where i talk about how i deal with dis dissociative episodes is demonetized and was confirmed as like not suitable for advertisers which doesn't make any sense whatsoever and then on top of that youtube like all but admitted that it hasn't actually been showing a lot of you guys my videos i got a little like notification thing in the analytics section the other day that says this um, which is very oddly worded. They're basically saying, hey, when we show people your videos, they watch them. And I'm like, then why don't you show people my videos? Like, is that not the most useless insight you've ever seen? It's like going to someone in like high school or whatever and being like, hey, when you turn in your papers, you get grades on them. Great advice, by the way. I'm sure you've never heard that before. I'm your savior. YouTube telling me like, hey, when we recommend this video to people that watch you, they watch it. Like, <laughs> I know that. So just like show people, show people the things that I publish. I don't, I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, I just wanted you guys to be aware of that because like, I don't know what I can do to prevent that. I can see in my analytics that like 20% of people subscribed to me have the notification on so i don't know if that helps i don't know if you actually get notifications there was a video a while ago that i was really excited about that didn't end up doing very well because youtube had like its whole crash thing remember where it was down for like three or four hours so i'd scheduled it it didn't publish and then when i published it when youtube was back up and running it said that it was published like two days ago even though it was published like that moment so then it was like way far down in the subscription box and nobody was watching it and i was really excited about that video and it was sad like not because oh i'm not getting enough views but like because because it was a video that I know some of you were excited for as well, and then I felt like nobody was seeing it because YouTube fucked up, which was annoying too. But that and that video was the book review for symptoms being human. Um, I also wanted to touch on mental health, um, just because I haven't done like an in-depth mental health update of any sort recently, which I used to do relatively often. Um, so I'm back in therapy, I'm going weekly, which I have not been in therapy for like nine, ten months. So <laughs> I don't know how I survived that, but it definitely was not good for my mental health. Um, but I'm doing okay now. My depression has definitely been better recently, but my anxiety has been a lot. And I'm not entirely sure why, but my social anxiety has definitely been up there in terms of not being great for my mental health. So yeah, anxiety-wise, I'm not doing too great, but I am in therapy, and I just wanted to kind of update you guys on that because it's another aspect of my life that is important and relevant to my channel. Also, a mini update on my uterus situation because we all know that I hate my uterus. Um, I want a hysterectomy, and I know that, and I've talked about that before. I think I have two videos talking about hysterectomy, but I have a physical on July 11th, and I'm gonna ask my GP about 
about like possible hysterectomy options or partial hysterectomy or oophorectomy or honestly whatever works. Um, I haven't had a period in a very long time, almost a year now, but my dysphoria is so focused around my uterus and it hurts, like physically and like psychologically. Even though I don't get periods, I get like a lot of the symptoms of periods around the same time every month, which I'm assuming is due to some sort of hormone fluctuation where I'm getting a lot of the symptoms just without the bleeding. I don't know. I've tried two forms of birth control in the past, that being the low, low estrin um, birth control pill. Someone's doing yard work and I stopped recording for like 30 minutes, but he's still doing yard work. And at this point I can't be bothered, so I'm sorry. <laughs> and I also tried Depo Provera. Both of them completely fucked me over. Um, and although like they may have made me not able to have kids, like honestly, that's my last priority. If a birth control is giving me periods, get me off of it. Um, so yeah, I, I've tried two different forms of birth control. Neither of them did anything other than make me miserable. Um, I've thought about trying Nexplanon and I might ask about that. Even if I do get Nexplanon, I know that I want a hysterectomy or partial or infrarectomy, whatever, at some point in the future. So I'm gonna ask my GP about that. My GP is also like my quasi endocrinologist. She's a trans woman. She deals with a lot of trans people. Um, Cause you know, trans people love going to trans doctors because they're obviously trans friendly. Um, so she's been great in regards to helping me like adjust my hormones and stuff. And she also definitely helped me along the road to get top surgery. So I'm assuming she will be happy to talk about any sort of other surgery that I need, in this case, hysterectomy. So. I'll keep you guys updated on that. When I end up getting hysterectomy, of course I'll talk about it. If I try an explanon, I might talk about that in like a separate video about birth control and being trans and stuff like that. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in. Oh, I guess I also wanted to talk a little bit about like body modification, I guess maybe, cause it's something that I'm obviously really, really interested in. I've been interested in it for like 10 years or something. Um, I have nine piercings right now and I want to get so many more. I genuinely have a list on my phone called body modifications and I have a list of all the piercings I want. I have a list of all the piercings I have. I have a list of all the tattoos I want and I have the list of the tattoos that I have. I did a video a while ago about like all the piercings that I have. That was when I only had this one helix and two pairs of ear piercings. And then I did a video of my septum when I got it. Um, and since then I don't think I've updated you, but I also have another helix, my tragus and my conch pierce now. Um, and my ears are also at a zero gauge now, meaning eight millimeters. You can see right through them. I love getting piercings it, for a lot of reasons, and maybe I'll talk about that at some point, but I don't know how many of you guys are interested in seeing content related to that. I also do want to do someday one of those like full, all my piercings, how much they hurt, healing process, what I put in them, stuff like that. Um, but I don't want to do that until I'm like 99% sure that I have all the piercings that I'll ever want. And there are a heck of a lot more piercings that I want before I'm done with that. I can think of 13 more piercings I want, <laughs> like right off the top of my head. So I'm like not even halfway there, but someday, someday I'll do a video like that. It'll take years, probably. It'll be years before that happens, maybe. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in at the end there for anyone that's interested. So. That is all. Goodbye. I hope that you guys have had some lovely life experiences recently. And if you want to update me on your life in the comments, feel free to. I love reading comments. It's like the best part of my day. Uh, goodbye. I hope that your life has been going really, really well recently. And I'll talk to you later, maybe.